Egypt's first democratically elected president was overthrown, the constitution suspended, politicians arrested, and what followed was a massacre of over a thousand people. Here's what unfolded in the 2013 coup in Egypt. In June 2012, Mohamed Morsi came to power after a narrow margin victory, making him the North African nation's first president to be elected by the people. And while his election was celebrated by many as a step forward for the country's democracy, not everybody was happy to see a member of the Muslim Brotherhood as their leader. In his time in office, he was immediately accused of mishandling the economy and failing to deliver on his promises, and was subjected to an institutional onslaught and propaganda campaign that undermined him at every turn. And after spending just a year in office, at the end of June 2013, anti-government protests started taking place, while thousands of others filled the streets in support of the president. And after clashes and an escalation of tensions, on July 3rd, 2013, this happened. <laughs> That was Sisi's way of telling the Egyptian people that the military had taken over the country and detained the president. One side was celebrating the ouster of President Morsi, while his supporters were distraught. Those who wanted the president to be released and reinstated to power vowed to protest until that happened. But to break up the protest camps, on August 14, 2013, the military attacked the demonstrators using tear gas, rubber-coated steel bullets and live ammunition killing over a thousand people in just 10 hours. That is now known as the Raba Massacre. And even though Sisi said the military had no interest in politics and was only ousting the president because he had failed to fulfill the hope for a national consensus, during the years that followed, he only contradicted his words. The Egyptian military's interference in politics cast a looming shadow over the revolution and the nation's long sought dream for a civilian democracy. As for Mohamed Morsi, he spent years locked up in prison cells until he collapsed and died during a court hearing in June 2019, 